started this uh, control deal that the inners were going to pull okay but on the push stroke there's a they were going to tend to bow so i always had in my mind i was going to make a guide of some sorts to uh, make that go away make that problem not happen and i think my best bet is i have a lot of this uh, hollow stainless steel tube from a bimini top and i have this one piece it's solid stainless or cut this up into eight equal pieces um slide them inside this hollow tube weld it drill it and put a set screw and do that on each end they'd be about six inches long and i'd put one wire in one end and put the set screw tight and the other wire in the other end put the set screw tight and then with this stainless steel tube i could build a guide so that it would have to go in a linear direction and not bow up when uh, on the push stroke pull strokes easy but on the push stroke before i started drilling and tapping all this stainless we got an offer from the from the uh, machine shop ferry to uh make a sum for free when pretty hard to pass up so we made this shorter one up in the upper right hand corner and um it's gonna work so i made a guide for the square one instead of a round one my plan for the guide is just a wooden box with plastic wear strips um, here you can see the wooden box with the strips on the bottom being glued the little block in the middle is just for clamping purposes then I glued both uh, interior wear strips at the same time by just clamping them together using epoxy and spring clamps and when that set up I just uh, had one more to glue the outside part and it uh, went together really easy really quick and uh, it works really well this is the finished little block um, so the the slide only touches the plastic it's snug but not so tight that I can't have a good layer of grease around it and I'll make a, um, a clear plastic top just so we can kind of keep an eye on what's going on make sure it doesn't run dry yesterday the machine shop ferry delivered our um, our connector bars that he made for us out of um, this is half inch by half inch uh, keyway material so super strong um, he made a, an original which I said yeah go for it it will work just make it a little longer but in the original he drilled this hole goes all the way through end to end which means our cables can go through and overlap which means we can kind of play with them to get them right now when he made the final versions he didn't drill through he just barely drilled in the end so man I'm not comfortable with this I don't know if I can get if I miscut the cables I'm screwed I don't have enough adjustment so I'm gonna chuck these up in my little drill press and see if I can't at least drill them a little deeper Surprisingly, uh, they drill pretty easily. Um, I attribute that to one, I got a good uh, vise to hold them steady and vertical. And two, he already had an inch drilled so it kind of keeps the drill bit going straight. I used a brand new drill bit. But I ended up being able to drill them just a tad more than halfway through so when I flipped them over I could get them all the way through. And I'm, I'm grateful because that makes setting the wires much easier. So this is the guides are in place now um, the top one is finished I had to add a little plastic shim under the plexiglass top because it was just a little bit snug so I just cut up a um, yogurt cup and rolled it out and that's how thick the shim is and the top one is done and it's greased and the bottom one we're still messing with and unfortunately I don't have any action shots of it working but trust me it works and it's done one more thing off the list.